Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to uh, SME Forum. Again, uh, with me is uh, Alvin. Alvin Tan. Hi. Hi. Uh, okay. 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 Now I'm going to ask you. What, uh, okay. Yeah, what? what? What's our topic today? Oh, today is about stock investing in the stock market. Investing so. in the stock market, particularly about SMEs and the stock market. Okay. And uh, of course, uh, we. We, we we're, I, I'm sure you're wondering. First of all, what the stock market will do for you, mm -hmm. and second, what is what are the advantages of being an SME and entering into the stock market? All right. So um, we have two guests here that uh, I think can clarify some points for us. Uh, this first guest, I will introduce him first because uh, you already saw him this morning. Yeah, he looks so, very familiar. Yeah, he looks familiar, right? Yeah, that's sure. Right. Right. Oh, okay. No, no, this morning. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this morning. <laughs> I, 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 I think he has a show here. I'm not sure, really. Uh, let's let's all welcome the um, Mr. Aya Laraya. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, yes, now I'm on the other side of the conversation. <laughs> and I know you just saw me about few minutes ago hosting Stocks really? in Focus. So now I'm here because like uh, Boom has said that uh, we will be discussing SMEs and their function in the market, what the market can do for SMEs and what SMEs can do for the market as well. All right. Fantastic. Okay. And our next host, uh, our next host. <laughs> right, right. So we're right. so right. so right. right. all four hosts here. <laughs> all right. Our next guest is a registered financial planner, just like uh, just like Aya here, uh, except that Aya owns a company already very big. And uh, yes, we bow to you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> With, uh, um, Mr. Kendrick Chua. Kendrick? Yes, uh, good morning to all the viewers. Uh, thank you, uh, Boom and Alvin, for having me here. And I hope to enlighten the viewers on regarding investing in the stock market. Cool. All right. So, uh, it's you know, every time uh, we have a replay, um, before the next show, I, I always uh, seem to stutter a lot. But uh, don't worry, <laughs> Alvin is here to cover for me, right? I, I will stutter as well. So you will so stutter. Don't feel alone. Right. Okay, <laughs> right now, the stock market. Before we get to the stock market, let's ask uh, our guests exactly what they do. Let's start with Kendrick. Kendrick, can you explain to me what the registered financial plan does? Well, uh, basically, we handle a personal finance of an individual. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, just like uh, my title is a personal finance advisor. Mm -hmm. So I guide my clients through their cash flows, mm -hmm. uh, insurance, and investments. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we work, uh, we work, uh, plan for them, for them to achieve their financial objectives. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we don't like uh, shooting from the hips. We need to have a clear picture of their current financial conditions, mm -hmm. and we work with from there. Oh, okay. So uh, just just to uh, I I just like to ask. So you do this on a personal level for individuals? Yes, that's right. All right. So uh, let's go to Aya. Aya, how, how about you? What, what ex everything you do? I mean, you do a lot, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I I pretty much do quite a number of things. But aside from hosting the show, but the the main thing I do uh, is I actually teach mm -hmm. uh, the, my firm Global Investor Center. What we mm -hmm. do is we teach people what to do with their money and how the different options that are available, how they work and mm -hmm. what they're for. And we don't sell any of them, by the way. So yes. just, just this past Saturday, yeah. we actually had a half-day seminar uh -huh. wherein the attendees were taught the differences between stocks, mutual funds, insurance, pre-need, real estate investments, all of those things so that they have at least a working knowledge mm -hmm. so that the next time they get a proposal from someone, mm -hmm. they can at least make an educated decision on whether it is suited for their needs or not, mm -hmm. because what we do at uh, Global Investor Center is we really want to increase the financial literacy of mm -hmm. people, you know, just to avoid them from getting scammed. Because yeah. you know, I'm sure you, years ago there yes. were yeah. quite a number, and you can expect more in the years to come. So we just try and help people figure out on their own mm -hmm. uh, what it is that uh, they can actually get into in order to achieve the the goals that uh, Kendrick uh, that Kendrick has said. We just try to. Uh, do it in such a way that they can do it by themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to teach them uh, how to approach these things safely, mm 
Mm -hmm. So that the pain of all of the losses is uh, minimized at the very yeah. least. Pain. <laughs> okay. Well, well, well I, I'd like to take this opportunity to apologize to. I, I was. Uh, you invited me to that seminar yeah. last Saturday, but I had team building yeah, Friday it's, and it's Saturday. Okay. And it was. Uh, it was uh, we'll we'll have probably have another one in January anyway. So oh great, great, great. Okay, I'm that. on it. So uh, I'll be I'll be watching. This time I won't be talking. I'll just be watching. I will do all the talking. Right. All right. <laughs> Okay, so um, let's see. Before we before we move uh, further, I just like to ask, how did uh, you get started, Kendrick, in what you what you do? Okay, uh, well, uh, I got bored with my previous employment. Oh, that's, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good, right? And at the same time, I tried five years ago. I tried my hands in investing mm -hmm. because I realized that. Um, bank deposits would not really provide the lucrative returns mm -hmm. for, for my money. So I thought of investing. Mm -hmm. And from there, uh, I started with pooled funds. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, and from there, uh, I began to get a better picture mm -hmm. and appreciation of the financial environment. And mm -hmm. so I decided I want to join, uh, join the industry. Mm -hmm. And that's where four years ago, uh, five years later, I'm here now. And you wow. took all the seminars uh, in between, right? Yes, I also attended the Global Investor Center. Wow, wow. Seminars okay. of Global <laughs> Investor Center. You did? Yes, yeah, I did. I did. Several yeah. of them. So, Ahead of us. Is so, your student? No, not me. It was one of my partners partner who, who conducted <laughs> the, the seminar that he attended. Okay, before we get to Aya, let's just uh, remind them there's a number they can call, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a, In case you have questions or comments, Mm -hmm. Send them over to zero nine three two two one seven five seven five. Is that nine? Yeah, nine. Nine. Okay. All right. <laughs> anyway, it's right here. And please indicate your name and location so we can uh, 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 acknowledge you. Yeah, uh, acknowledge, acknowledge and accommodate. And yeah, all those stuff. Right. Send all the over. A's. Right. All the A's. Right. Okay. <laughs> so let's go to I. I. How did you get started? Well, I've been in the finance industry for how long? About twenty twenty four years now. Mm -hmm. And compute, compute. You don't look 24 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what, one thing I have seen is that in the Philippines, uh, people really do not have a resource to, mm -hmm. to ask questions. Mm -hmm. uh, like, let's say you have a limited amount of money, let's say mm -hmm. 50,000, 100,000. What do you do with it? Mm -hmm. uh, who would you ask to be able to find out what is best suited mm -hmm. for you? Quite often, you end up buying something depending on who the best salesperson you talk to. Yes, yes uh, and true. it may not be the most suitable mm -hmm. instrument for you because mm -hmm. there is a conflict of interest there. Uh -huh. So what I decided to do, and the reason uh, I joined GIC and uh, partnered with a few other people, is exactly to address that. I mean, we want to become the place where, if you have that question in your mind, mm -hmm. regardless of the amount, and you want to find out, okay. Uh, what is the best thing or the most suitable thing out there for me, then that is what we do. I mean, uh, we, we do teach them and we help people answer that question, what do I do with my money? So, that, that's interesting. Remember Alvin in our last show, somebody asked, I have, it was about franchising. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And somebody asked that if he had like 100,000 mm -hmm. right now, um, our guests then and us as yeah. well, we discouraged him from getting a franchise mm -hmm. if he only had 100,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you're saying right now that there are in instruments like the stock mm -hmm. market, for instance, mm -hmm. or or other instruments that they can get into while they're growing their money. Yeah, um, just just yeah, just a quick example. Uh -huh. uh, five years ago, this is one of my favorite cases. Five years ago, for just fifty thousand pesos, mm -hmm. the Ayala Corporation issued what were known as preferred shares, mm -hmm. and the effect being that every year for five years they would pay you nine and a half percent, and the only risk being that. Within five years, Ayala Corporation would go bankrupt. All right. So, Not if, uh, very unlikely. I mean, right. possible. It's in the yeah. realm of possibility yeah. if, you're, if you're just talking pure possibility, yeah. but mm -hmm. extremely unlikely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if you had fifty thousand at that point, mm -hmm. what were your options? I mean, normally you would put it in a time deposit or a savings account. You'd mm -hmm. make less than three percent, definitely, yeah. over mm -hmm. the past five years. Whereas there was that option, if you knew about it, for 50,000, Ayala Corporation is promising to pay you 9.5% a year. Mm -hmm. And you can liquidate at any point in time, mm -hmm. and they will, buy, they will pay you back your 50,000 next year, since it was done in 2006, mm -hmm. I believe, so it will be due next year. So for the past five years, at the very least, you could have been making 9.5% mm -hmm. versus whatever it was uh, you did. So again, for someone who does not have a lot of time, mm -hmm. That was a great deal because yeah. five years, and then if you 
wanted to liquidate, you could have liquidated in the market. You would not have suffered any penalty or anything. Mm -hmm. All of your interest would have been paid to you as well. Wow. So things like that. We help people figure things like that out. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's Speaking pretty much what Ayala, we do. Speaking of they have this uh, in BPI right now. They 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 have the same instrument, I think, but they're doing it through BPI right now. Uh, well, I, they have issued more of those types, but the interest yeah. rates have been lower. Uh, a little, yeah. yeah. But it's still it's still pretty big, mm -hmm. considering. Okay. Yeah, considering. Uh, I don't know uh, why that is, but but it's it's a it's a good to look into. Anyway, um, from your standpoint, let's see. Uh, the same question, like uh, um, I have a hundred thousand right now. Mm. Um, I want to get. Most Filipinos will probably say, "I'm gonna get into business." Negosyo ako, negosyo. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they end up uh, getting a franchise or a, a stand or a push cart or or whatever, right? Or ice cream. Or ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Let's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> all, all of that. Okay, so, so um, what, what would you advise just in case? I mean, the advice of our former guests were to grow that money first before investing in a franchise. Would you give the same advice? That's right. Um, well, it's easier said than done, talking about business. Uh, mm -hmm. um, of all of us, uh, all Filipinos, desire to, at one point in time, to be financially free. Mm -hmm. And for them, uh, the, the way to do that, the way to achieve that, is to put up a business. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you, like, uh, the, like you said, with 100,000, if unfortunately that business fails, you end up with nothing. Yes, okay. yes. 